time to barrage the farage or stump the stone. Wait a minute, uh, where are we? Uh, have I got the question? Oh, yeah, here we are. Put my beer on them. That's, that's the problem there. Uh, Daniel says, uh, who is your favorite singer? Oh, I don't want to sound old Squaresville. I hardly like any, uh, you know, most of the singers I like have been dead for at least two thirds of a century. And I don't want to pretend I'm hip by by uh, saying I like Ed Sheeran, if he isn't still already washed up by now. Uh, Jack says, should the Western coalition in Afghanistan have provided support for the resistance in the Panjshir Valley after with the withdrawal? This is where America's and the West's so-called allies retreated to. The, the Afghan fiasco on the United States has changed the entire geopolitical uh, calculation. It's not a good thing to betray your allies, uh, and it's not a good thing to do it in the contemptible manner that the government of the United uh, States did. Uh, Mark says, if Rolls-Royce built the small nuclear reactors, does this mean our energy is once again in foreign hands as the Germans own Rolls-Royce? I know that, Mark. Uh, I had an interesting conversation about that with the late Duke of Edinburgh during a dinner at Buckingham Palace. So how's that for a name drop? Nigel's always name dropping Donald Trump. I see his name drop and I drop it right back on him. Uh, I, had a, uh, I had a very interesting dinner conversation with the Duke of Edinburgh who was actually upset at the end of the Britishness of Rolls-Royce. Gary says, why wait until April to vaccinate the NHS? If it matters, then make it immediately. Yeah, there's something slightly uh, silly about all this. If it is true that everything is going to be dangerous if you have unvaccinated persons, then why don't they just postpone everything until the fully vaccinated National Health Service reconvenes in April, if it is that essential. Thank you for all those and for the ones we didn't uh, get to. That'll do it for tonight.